Greetings all, Vanna here for Taurus's weekly message. Taurus, I hope you guys are having a good start on this very rainy Monday. What has come out for my fellow Taurians? Shifting in power, I see. We have the two, I mean, the, the high priestess in reverse, I'm about to say two of major arcana, which technically it is. We have the Three of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Moving on from situations that seem very sus. New beginnings, new alignments, and the potential of moving on from something without the fear of questioning people's morals or motives. Because that is something that can very quickly turn not just a situation but an entire relationship being able to trust someone is so important especially for my fellow Tereans who so much of our sense of security is grounded in our physicality in our home in ourselves and the people that surround us and when that is being caused that is causing upset when that is a root of mistrust imbalance or even hurt that, that upsets the entire flow and function of a home space. And if a Taurus does, has an upset home space, they have an upset grounding. And an ungrounded Taurus is a very scary thing. Because when you feel so much of your emotions and the physicality, especially if you have your, your energy um, shifting abilities, like, like Reiki, and you have those sensitivities... The more the world changes around you, the more toxic and combative your everyday reality becomes. You feel all of that. And understanding that you feel everything in your environment as an extension of your own feel, as your, as your own emotions and your own energy, you become very selective of who gets access to your energy, of who gets access to your most sacred spaces. You are much more selective in that. And it's not because you think you're better than anyone else. It's because you know you're worth protecting. You know what you will and will not deserve. And what you will not accept is trifling hoes. It's people who make you doubt yourself. Make you doubt your power, your worth, or what you can do. Make you feel like you do not deserve happiness. Make you feel like you do not deserve love or support. <clears throat> yeah. These people have been trying to choke out what you are trying to create for yourself, by yourself. And sadly, it's so often because they feel like they want to be involved in it because they feel like they could get rewards from it or that they simply don't want to see you succeed. So they're going to do everything in their power to make you fail because they know that they wouldn't be able to do it. And it's a lot easier to make you fail than to do the work to make themselves succeed. You have confidence is the key to your success. New Moon and Leo. I love that we were just talking about success over failure. Your confidence, your pride in yourself and your abilities. Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. And there there will be points where spirit is testing you. There, That, that will always happen. Testing you whether you will go back to ex and accept the same old situation. Testing you where there, you have learned from an addiction or a situation. Whether you have learned what you needed to learn to, to not be fooled. Pardon, excuse me, coffee burps. Like I said, very rainy day. It took a lot of energy to actually feel like I wanted to do anything. But even that, with the commitment being tested, I could have easily said, you know, I don't feel like doing the readings today. I'll do them tomorrow. But no, that's not fair to you guys. It's not fair to the promise that I made to myself, my higher self, and the collective that I am growing here. We are going through a lot of challenges every week, and it is important for us to have, well... A practical plan, as we are stating here in the Full Moon and Taurus card. Your dreams need a practical plan. And sometimes that is being real with yourself and stating what you can and cannot do in a single day. And I'm not saying being lazy and saying, oh, I don't want to do it today simply because I don't feel like it. And I'm not saying pushing yourself so far to the point of exhaustion that you never let yourself rest. Balance, my love. 
that is going to be the hardest thing for you to achieve is balance. Prosperity lies ahead. You will be prosperous. You will be taken care of. And it is because you have taken a very different approach to your entire life. Not just your financial success. Not just your stability and, and how you live your life. Your approach to life itself is different. We have the feminine card that has come out again. A soft strength, an intuitive knowing, a sultry dance. This, my dear, is your feminine. Feel the essence of her divine, subtle power. She lives within you, always knowing exactly what you need, what you need to do, or where you need to go. She is within you, my love, begging you to soften and dance in her ways. Do not doubt her, dear one. There is no need to shy away from the wisdom in this grace and that will never lead you astray. Divine Feminine is the embodiment of Empress Mother Energy. Healing, nurturing, being receptive. The one who will care for you when you are hurt. Being in your Divine Feminine Energy, especially for my fellow Tereans, is caring for yourself. Taking care of yourself. Making sure you're drinking water. Getting enough rest. Being aware of the foods that you eat. When you do have those days where you allow yourself to eat junk food, please make sure you're drinking a lot of water and you eat things very healthy the next day. Balance in all things. I'm not saying you can't ever destroy a bowl of ice cream again. God's no, I want to do that all the time. But I also want to make myself a healthy vessel so that I can become a mother one day because that is very important to me. You, Taurus, have so much left to do. Yeah, I was like, there's like, there's, there are challenges, there are places for you to see, and then adventure came out. You can feel it, can't you? A gentle tug here, a soft push there, the steady whisper of adventure humming deep within your belly, begging, begging you to come dance with it. What are you waiting for? Make the change, take the risk, embark on the journey. You were never meant to thrive within anything else, but that which makes your soul come alive. And I love that dancing came up twice in these two cards because dancing is such a wonderful way to express and share your energy from your own body, from your own vessel. When you look at dancing and body movement as energy movement, as Reiki, you can see very quickly how your movements are directing the flow of energy around you. And when you know that, there is very little that you can't do. When you are aware of how you direct energy, you become a fucking avatar for spirit. You become a conduit, a vessel, a channel to direct, protect, and reflect so much of the energy that is coming down and so many of us are unaware of. And as you come more online and more in alignment with yourself, by choosing yourself, by going after your dreams, by working on a practical plan to make them a reality, you become closer with your higher self. You become closer with your divine plan. And as it states in the feminine card, it will never sound like anxiety. Your spirit, your intuition, they will never sound like fear. They will never sound like doubt. That is, those are all things of the physical realm of the mundane realm and of the low vibrational realm and you are so much higher than that Taurus you are so much wiser and brighter than that and as you're coming into what makes your soul alive as you're coming into your soul shine there is nothing that can stop you because you walk with the spirits you walk with the old gods and new whatever you believe in whatever you carry in your heart it is always there for you because you recognize its power and it recognizes you have a beautiful day my fellow Tereans